cloudy. Don't worry. I'm not going to be out here long because it's very windy. But I just wanted to show you the backpack on. And I got to thank my buddy Alex Banks about this because he's actually one that said, Hey, have you seen this backpack yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And I haven't seen anyone else review it. So we're going to go back to the house where it's less windy, where you can hear me. And we're going to talk about this. So if you're looking for something a little different than what everyone else is doing, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with this backpack. All right. So what is it? This is the black diamond 45 light. Uh, this is their, what they call beta light 45 liter backpack. It is made out of ultra material. Uh, this one on my scale empty weighs in at 31 ounces. That's with the foam pad. The aluminum stays for the frame and the uh, waist belt. That's the thicker waist belt with the pouches. So you can actually dial this up to put as heavy load as you want in it and you can dial it down. So what I like about that is sometimes I don't need a, a pack that's going to carry a lot of weight, but I need it to carry a lot of bulk. So some of those bigger sleeping bags, puffy coats, things of that nature. So uh, my good buddy Alex actually texted me last, I think it was a week ago, and said, hey, have you seen this pack? And I'm like, I didn't even know Black Diamond made backpacks, but they do. They've been making them for a while. I just associated them with Trekking Pulse, and I was very wrong about that. So what is some of the features on this that I just thought were different from everything else that's out there and it's basically the versatility of this pack. First off, it has my favorite straps, the runner or uh, fast track style straps. So there is a little bit of padding in here, but not a lot. I'm someone that doesn't like the thicker padding. I feel like it just digs in and isolates itself right on my shoulders. And I'm just constantly moving them in and out, back and forth with the, th with the sternum straps. And so those fatter pads are just not comfortable to me. If you've not tried runner style straps, I encourage you to at least try them. For me, it's a game changer. I feel like more real estate, the flatter, more real estate that's there, the, the more comfortable the pack is. So it has those. It also has in the strap a mesh pocket for snacks, whatever you want to put in there, it will fit a smart water bottle and also fit one of those uh, bladder style water bottles that slides in there nicely. And then on this side, they have probably one of the nicest zipper pockets I, I have on any of my backpacks. Uh, it's almost like a, a fidget toy on the trail. You just play with this thing all day long. So uh, very easy to open and close. And then there's a smaller pouch below that, another mesh pouch. Now, as far as the versatility of this, where I'm saying you can dial this up as heavy as you want or dial it down as light as you want, it has your waist pad, all right? It also has pouches on it. The versatility comes in that I can remove this padded one and still keep just the nylon straps. So these nylon straps go in behind the pouches and then this is Velcroed in the back and you just undo that Velcro and slide the, the padded belt out and you can still keep the nylon straps in place. If you don't want any of that, if you don't want any waist belt at all, you can also remove just the nylon strap along with the, the padded waist belt. So this is quick clip into the pack. So you can take this whole thing off if you want. Um, I don't know if I would, would do that with, with this pack because again, I'm looking to maybe put some heavier winter stuff in this gear, in this bag. Uh, the other thing is on the back, typically a pack like this, you just have the material the material is right on your back. If it gets warm out, you get sweaty and you just have that spot on your back constantly. I'm not saying that this pack eliminates that. But what I am saying is this material is a waffled material, much like one of those mesh 
uh, under garments like base layers. Uh, and it does help, it does help. Now, do I still have a wet spot on my back? Yes. But this did feel a lot more comfortable than just having this material directly on your back. It has a foam pad in the back, which is removable, and you can use it as a sit pad if you want. It has a very generous grab handle. It has load lifters. Normally on a runner style pack with these straps, you don't have load lifters. This does have load lifters and they are very functional and work very well. You have a top strap. It's a very generous strap. You can definitely get whatever size bear can you want on this backpack. Not a problem at all. And that strap also fastens the front mesh pouch closed. I'm torn on that because I'm used to packs that just have this. You just throw it in there and you forget about it. Uh, but I will say it's kind of nice to have this little extra for protection to make sure that that stuff does not fall out of, of the front mesh. Uh, there's plenty of room there. In fact, I got all my, uh, when I took this out, I got all my gear pouches in the front and the rest of the, the pack was completely open for everything else. The inside of the, what I call the bucket, there are stays. You're probably not gonna be able to see this at this camera angle, but there are aluminum stays there. They're just Velcroed in. So you just undo that Velcro, you can pull those out of there. And other than that, there's really not much else uh, special about it. Uh, it does have a, in the back, which I'd have to unpack this whole thing. You're gonna have to take my word for it. In the back, there is a sleeve for water bladder and there is a hole on the back of this in order to pull the tube through. Uh, so it is water bladder uh, compatible. The top does not have a button or Velcro or anything like that. It just rolls down and you just close it up. And then again, has the strap goes around the front and then you can cinch that down and tighten that. Let's talk about the sides. You have very deep pouches here. Let me show you the other side. It has a bigger water bottle in it. Uh, very deep pouches, so you don't really need a strap here to hold these water bottles in place. There's plenty of depth there to that. Those are not moving or falling out. Uh, I will say that if I undo the sternum straps and I undo the shoulder straps and let it hang down, I was able to get one of these out However, I was not able to get it back in. That is probably more specific to my body type. I just cannot ever get to these side pouches, but if you're someone that can, uh, this is, I think you're, you're gonna be able to do this with, with ease. Speaking of sternum straps, there are two sternum straps. They're kind of like a elastic type material. Again, very comfortable. And if you don't, there's two. If you only want one, you can take the other one off. If you don't want any, you take them both off. They're actually clipped on to uh, like a bungee uh, rope that's uh, looped. So you can move these up and down, both of them, to wherever you need them. And you can just completely remove them if you don't want them at all. Back to the side, there is a paracord here and it's adjustable. You can use that as compression to cinch the pack down. Uh, or if you have a longer, you know, umbrella, trekking poles, you know, whatever, a uh, tripod, if you want to put that in the pocket and then use that to, to cinch it down, that works really well. And then it also has the uh, same thing on the other side. So the pockets and the uh, paracord compression straps are symmetrical. It's the same on each side. The other thing is on the back of the pack, they have two loops right here. And initially, when I saw this, I thought, oh, that's for trekking poles, because uh, I'll show you here, they do have paracord at the bottom as well. For paracord, or you could use an, you could put an ice ax to this. Uh, but if you go on their website, they actually have a four liter rectangular, what I call a brain. So it's basically like a large uh, rectangular fanny pack that will mount to these loops and you just, clip it in and it's it's right there it's something you can take off you can take it into town if you 
leaving this at base camp or if you're traveling, you throw this in the overhead compartment and on the airplane. And then you have your four liter uh, bag, uh, kind of like a fanny pack. You can also put it on the front. They have attachments where you can put that as more like a, a front pack. At the bottom, as I mentioned, they do have ties here as well. Uh, those are paracord. Most pack makers just make this out of bungee. So I was kind of surprised that they used a little heavier uh, type of material, i.e. paracord, uh, but it works. And so you can strap stuff to the bottom of this, this pack. Like I said, on my scale, all in, this is 31 ounces. Uh, I took it out with about 19 and a half uh, pounds in it just to give it a trial run, see how it felt. Very comfortable. In fact, at one point I actually undid the, the waist uh, belt just to see how comfortable these runner style straps are with that much weight in it. And it was very comfortable. Now I didn't go 20 miles, um, so that may change. Yeah. But I think as far as I'm concerned, what this is best for is this is a great uh, runner up to that Z-Pax Arcol. Uh, they're about the same price. This is $3.99. Uh, like I said, they make a, a smaller version of this. And uh, I, I think this is a very, very close second to that uh, Arcol. In fact, the only advantage that the Arcol has over this is one, it is slightly lighter uh, right out of the box. And the second thing is it has that mesh panel with the arc uh, and so it does uh, vent a lot better than something like this however if this is my late fall and, and winter pack i don't know that ventilation is as crucial uh, as it is say in the spring and uh, a summer um, but you're still out you're still moving you're still sweating uh, but this is very impressive this uh, takes backpacks to a different level and what i'm hoping is that some of the other manufacturers see this pack and they go wow there was a lot of thought put into this there's a different way to do straps there's a different way to do waist belts it's it's, it's not all or nothing or some flapped over piece of velcro that rubs on your back this is actually integrated into the pack the waffling on on the back as opposed to just the material and uh so if you ask me, is, is this worth purchasing and, and keeping in mind that my other option would be a Z-Pax Arcol. I have a Z-Pax Arcol 60 liter. That is a very difficult pack to beat. I would say that this is a very, very close second uh, to the Arcol and it is definitely worth the money. This is very well made. Uh, you can just, you could tell there was a lot of thought, a lot of time and uh, quality checks on this were, were done very well. I mean, there's nothing on this that's off, odd, looks weird, not stitched straight. Everything on this thing is flawless, just as they, as they promised. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.